In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to import a custom hair onto a G8F uh, model with a custom head morph. And then I'm going to show you how to fix that custom hair initial morph so it looks proper instead of looking broken. You'll see further in an example. So first off, you got to load up your Gen A female. Mine's loaded up. I got to click on my custom thing, add my custom head, Halo 5. I just finished a civilian head called Boro. So that's her head morph. She also has with her a ponytail, so I'll import that. All right, so you'll open up your Explorer. You'll go find your little folder. You'll find your outfits, whatever you got transferred. I have hair, ponytail, quad. I hit open. It'll import. I'll say yes. Make sure your things are all correct. Uh, then the hair gets brought in with no textures, but it does have surfaces. So here I have my hair and my ponytail. I'm going to leave them white and blank so that it's easy for this character to be seen properly. So let's take a look at her hair. So this hair is the hair that's meant for this head. But when I go to apply it with a transfer utility, just a female, I select the hair quad. Uh, I'll do none since there's not really a template for it. Reverse source shape because I'm going to do current and current. So it's going to base it off the current morph, which is the Boro head morph. I'm going to add a smoothing modifier just for fun. It's going to do the math. It's going to do everything just fine. And it's going to go, okay, it's imported correctly. So now we got to go and make sure it's actually imported. So I go to head. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Ponytail. Over it all the way down the head. There we go. And I go to tools. I go to node, weight bash, make sure go to tools are here, click on this, and I'll see what's connected. So this part, if I were to bend the head, it would not get this part. It probably attaches to the neck. So to fix that, I'm going to go down to selection mode, lasso, make sure that's selected. Grab that, do control M plus to get a little bit more. Right click, hit weight editing, fill selected, make sure it's 100, hit accept. And now it should move with the head. Everything else should be fine the way it is. But sometimes you will get a error, not error, it's a visual error, where the head morph, or the hair morph, I'm sorry, when applied with this head morph, will break a certain segment of your ponytail or other hair or maybe armor you have, you're using. So to fix that, you just have to go to your hair ponytail, go to uh, parameters, Hit this button right here, Preferences. Make sure Show Hidden Properties is selected. Mine was already selected. Then go to Currently Used, and you'll see that Boral Head is applied to Hair Ponytail Quad. So I'm going to go here, hit the gear, hit the setting, copy this name, hit Cancel. Then I'm going to make sure that the Hair Ponytail is selected. Go to Edit, Figure, Morph, Morph Loader Pro. We'll choose Morph Files. I'm going to go ahead and choose the same ponytail because that's the initial uh, morph I want it to be when I have this head applied. Change the name to whatever you just copied, so Boro Head. If you were making a custom like outfit and you want it to be applied to a custom body, you would do the same exact process once that morph is applied for whatever outfit you're using. But in this case, I'm doing it for the head. So i got to go to Override Existing, Deltas Only, hit Accept. And it'll change it. It will fix it, whatever it was when it was initially imported. So now I have my head morph ready to go. Of course, I don't have an active ponytail bone. So to fix that, I got to go to tools, go to joint editor, go down the head. I'll right click in some space right here, go to create. Then I'll create a child bone. And I'll name this uh, ponytail 00, zero because it's a root. And I would do YZX because that's the same as the head bone. You'll see in the top left corner on rotation order. I'll hit accept. It'll create a bone. I'm going to right click, go to align, and I'm going to auto align node. So that means whenever I move this, it'll move the bone with it. So now I just got to place it in its proper position where I should have my ponytail start. And I'll probably have it start in the middle of the hair tie. And uh, let's see, does that look good on all angles? It looks good to me. All right, cool. So I have my 
hair tie ready to go now I'm going to go ahead and do crate child bone so I'm going to call it ponytail 01 I didn't spell pony right pony there you go ponytail 01 same exact thing whether the rotation order is correct or not I do not know but I do not care because I will still get the same results so here instead of just continuing along the path I'll put it at the very end so you're probably thinking oh but that's not going to move correctly when you move it and you're right it won't but I'm just putting it down here so I have a starting point and an end point so I don't really care what it's named at the moment I just want it to look nice right click go to create a split bone it creates a bone in the middle I mean it splits it in half here I can make it more adjust to where it should be and notice how the bottom one doesn't move in order to fix that you just gotta go down to your list click the one that's below it right click hit snap and snap center point center point is the green one end points the red arrow right here so snap center point and it snaps it to its correct location then click on the one you're just working on right click create split bone same process as before just keep going till it's in the middle make sure you fix the bottom one below it snap snap center point hit that one again create split bone same process of course you can move it around more if you want it to be more free-flowing but I think the more bones the better because that means it's more flexibility when you actually move the object snap center bone and one last time for this one probably uh, create split bone and then I'm going to make this one go up a bit more and then I'm gonna hit that one right click snap center point and then I'll do this one too uh, create split bone uh, this one's a little not as good so I'll put it right there click on that uh, snap center bone and I think that's good for now so we have our five bones actually one two three four five six bones so we'll start at the bone that's pony I didn't spell pony on that one either correctly alright so to rename them you have to right click once you click on the bone of course right click in the empty space hit edit rename node and then you can fix your name for it so what I like to do is I like to copy the first part of it hit accept go to the next one same exact process rename make sure it's correct one make sure it's correct one move to the next one right click edit rename make sure it's correct I put two this time and so on until you get all three of them done of course you can leave them with the names you have but you're gonna get confused because all that splitting is gonna make the numbers all unorganized uh, rename bone was that a one four yeah four so copy paste put the thing in there ponytail rename five five and the last one number six you can call end if you want but I like just doing by the numbers in case I want to add more you never know except so now I have my bones and it looked pretty good to me to be honest so here comes the little tricky part now well not tricky but the t uh, tedious part so tools then I go down to node weight select general weights and I make sure you're selected on your hair still okay we're good on that head so we're gonna go and give all of our current uh, one make sure you don't accidentally select some of the base head hit control and plus to max out what you got notice how I selected some of the old one I don't want to edit that by accident this may take some trial and error but let's see how much I can get by doing this okay I got the whole ponytail right click uh, weight editing fill selected make that a hundred percent for ponytail zero zero so I don't get any of the weights from the head or neck mixed into it I'll grab a little bit of this one hit control plus do the same exact thing fill selected and now I have separated the ponytail and the ponytail hair tie now the, here's the part where you're gonna be like okay now where did I put those bones at so what I like to do in this case is uh, get a little x-ray vision right here I'll go back to tools you're probably 
better off learning the shortcuts, but I'm too lazy for that. So I see that it, it, this is the point where it's at. So just memorize that, put your finger on your screen, whatever you got to do. I do the finger on the screen because uh, I'm simple like that. Then I go to tools, no weight map. I now then make a little thing over here. And then I grab part of this again. Well, actually better yet. Let's, yeah, let's just do that. I'll just fix that later. So, right click, and then make sure you select it on Pony01, because that's the new bone I'm working on. Then I wait, edit, fill selected, and 100. And then I can fix the hair tie to make it Ponytail00. Zero, zero. But I also want it to move with Ponytail01, so I might give it like 25% weight on ponytail zero one so so it, when it bends it looks like actually bending ponytail zero two now is what i'm on so you can see the little bracket box so it's probably around here it's probably saying but let's just confirm that join editor so um let's see this is zero two so that means i want it to be right here and right there okay so i'll put my finger down on it Go back to tools, G, uh, weight node map, select it, and then I do weight editing, fill selected, make it 100, and then I move on to the zero three. 3. Same process, this time it's probably somewhere around here, but let's double check, tools, joint editor, put my finger on it right there, remember it's, this is where it starts, tools, note weight, and grab it. It's okay to overlap because we're going to smooth it out later. Fill selected 100. Uh, ponytail 04. Joint editor. It's from green to red. I put both my fingers on the screen since it's easier for me. Note weight map. Select all that. Right click. Fill selected. That works. 5 now. Same process. Joint editor, 5 is from here to here, put my fingers on it, then I go to tools, geometry, nope, node, wrap around that spot, then I do uh, fill selected and 100%. Now this one, since I'm on 6, I can just hit uh, invert, if I can find it, uh, invert selection. And then I hold Alt and I just cruise around and I deselect the other ones. So now I have my guaranteed, just double check to see I didn't miss any, bottom part. Right click, weight editing, fill selected, and it's 100 for ponytail 6. Now, let's double check and make sure our ponytails are actually uh, properly selected. So I'm going to go to 0, 0. Look, see right here, I missed the spot. That would have been bad for it. So I'll go down to ponytail 01, and I'll just fix that really quickly. Right, wave editing, fill selected, hit accept. Go back to ponytail 00. There's still some selected in there, but that's fine. Because in reality, that's the base. But if you really, really want to fix it, you can. Just make sure you grab only the tear. And then you hit, you know, control plus, And then you can fix it from there by doing that again. Uh, oh, and not zero zero. Go until zero one. Here we go. And fix. Oh, did not fix it. Let's try it again. And fix. There we go. Fixed it. So let's give it a try. Ponytail zero zero. Selected. Ponytail zero one selected. And I can move it around now. See. Of course, once I do more moving, it's gonna look real bad because. It's all 100%. It's going to look like it's breaking, smashing, you know. Not good. Hit backspace both times and reset it. Now, here's the part you want to smooth it out. Let's go do a little flippy flip. Find your little selection. Same tools last time. Note weight map. Then you want to, since I don't want to smooth out the hair piece, I mean hair tie, I just won't select that. But select all the hair ponytail. Hit control plus to make sure you get all of it. Hit, uh, oops, I deselected it by accident. Same process, control plus. I noticed that 
part of the regular hair is being influenced, so I've got to fix that when I get a chance. But for now, let's go weight editing. And we're going to go to Smooth Selected. I don't know what these things do, but I'm assuming they help you. I'm going to hit Accept. And now it smooths it out. So Ponytail 01 does that more influence, and so on. So let me go ahead and refix uh, this one. So it's only the head that influences it. Hit Accept. All right, cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and test out the ponytail. Oops. Okay. All right, looking good. All right. And yeah, maybe we can always smooth it out more if you want, if you really need to. And there we go. I have a fully uh, functional ponytail now. So, like I said, mine's just not textured because I'm, uh, I want to be able to see the results. Because if you texture it, you're not going to be able to see all the parts that, like, get caught. Like right here, this little part you might want to fix, but you don't have to. Because when you put the actual texture on, it will add the opacity, opacity, whatever the word is. And it will look natural. It will look fine, you know. It will look dandy. So, just make sure you reset it, though. So, hair tony tail. I go down to figure... Uh, then I go to oops, wrong button. Then I go down to zero pose, and it resets it to what you had it when you first started it. And that does not mean it resets your uh, bones to like zero zero zero. It just resets to where you last left it when you rigged it all. So that's how you rig hair for a uh, Genesis eight female model for a custom head morph. So make sure you you know obviously save it. You go to hair, ponytail quad, file, save as, support asset, and you hit figure prop assets. Once there, you'll be able to find the place where you want to save it at. For me, it's going to load up my last saved location, so I'm going to go to Halo. I'm going to go down to... Oh, I don't have one for her yet. So, oh, I do. Civilians, Halo Reach. I have made one for Halo Reach, so this one would be Halo 5. This one would be called Boro, because I don't know her actual name, but I think that was the file name. And then I'm going to go call this, or I'll do outfits. And then I'll call this outfit A, because I honestly don't know if there's any things for it. And I'll call this hair. And do save. Then you're going to get this figure prop asset save options. My vendor name, obviously, is Me Monkey Rebel. My product name will be probably not pointing to zero zero. Uh, Halo Five slash civilians slash Boro, and then outfit A. So I'll just put A. So make sure it's copied in case they need to add anything else. And uh, that looks good. Hair. And now it's saved and ready for me to apply to it whenever I want. And when you luckily do that, you'll also save the bones. Just make sure you apply all the textures, and then you save. So you don't have to do that every single time you load it up. I hope you learned something. I'll probably include a little picture of what it looks like with the hair textures, and re properly rendered. Thank you, and good luck.